Uh, well, I play Nora, who is a bit of a pothead, and she's she's stuck, and she's really trying very much to overcome the death of her mother, but no one's talking about it. She's very curious, um, and she's uh, lacking in any enthusiasm at this venture of going into a biohazard cleaning company. She thinks it's gross and irrelevant, and you won't make any cash of it. But I think she doesn't anticipate how bonding it is for her and her sister who have struggled with a connection for a while. What's that? What, why did you want to be a part of this? Because of Amy, really, when I first heard that she was doing it, because, and I read the script and I loved it. I thought it was heartwarming and quirky and kind of weird. And then when I heard Amy was involved, oh my God, <laughs> when I heard Amy was involved, <laughs> When I heard Amy was involved, I think that was a big, big pull for me because I just think she's extraordinary and a, sing a singular actress. And so I was really excited to work with her. And for you, is there a big difference between independent film and mainstream? And if so, what, what do you like about independent film? I think that they have a human heartbeat more than anything. And what do you hope the audience takes away from them? I think they see it. I mean, I think. I hope they see that it's about family. It's about a dysfunctional family who come together in a very uh, unexpected way. So I think people will find it funny. I think hopefully it'll be moving. I just think you want to root for these characters. They're fallible. They're full of all kinds of cracks, and they're in need of reconciliation. Thank you.